Hello and welcome to the Mortgage and Real Estate Podcast by Pinnacle. I'm Chris Giannino. I am here today with Pete Giannino as well, my brother here. And then we are joined by uh, uh, Matt Camp, which I'm very excited about getting Matt on the show. Matt is uh, a friend of a friend of Pinnacle. We've been uh, friends for years now. We worked with him when he uh, before he had any kids. Now he has three yeah. <laughs> in uh, South City. Then uh, bought an awesome house. Uh, you guys knew exactly what you wanted, and you guys are in like the Lafayette Square area now, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Awesome. So um, you were you were making the job change around uh, a little bit before that, and just always been um, a very impressive entrepreneur and just forward thinking, unbelievable mindset. Uh, contagious personality to be around. And that's why I was like, oh, once we started this podcast up, I was like, again, I was like, I really want to get Matt on the show because um, just brings a great vibe and also has tons of information that he could share with us. Um, And specifically, you know, I want to have you on again too, because I I like to hear some of your personal experiences as well Mm -hmm. about just your thought process when you bought your real estate. I know you, you guys, um, just you were looking for something very specific, and then when you found it, you jumped on it and and made things happen. But uh, but in addition to that, you have um, teamed up with a good friend of yours who had an an um, just an effective, efficient, um, innovative idea and concept for purchasing investment properties, and he basically solved the problem for um, for what he was experiencing when he was going out to buy investment properties. Like most great inventions or great uh, innovative products that come around, it's, it's usually the person who um, is having difficulty with something or thinks they could do it more efficient comes up with the solution. And now with technology, uh, you, you can partner up with, with somebody who, who really knows how to write the code or, or put your idea and manifest it into something that is physical. And that's what we want to talk to you a little bit about today. The product that um, that you've been working with is called Deal Machine. And could you tell us a little bit about your friend, how you got started into it, and um, and then we'll just take it from there. Yeah, absolutely. So thanks, guys. I uh, was really excited to come on here. I know we've been friends for, what, like 10 years now. So uh, Yeah, yeah. yeah awesome. Like you said, before before kids and everything, now mine are seven, five, and three. So you've seen uh, you know, us, us grow a whole family. Yeah, story of caution when you deal with Pinnacle. There's a fertility <laughs> issue involved. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. So it's, it's, it's worked out well for sure, guys. So, uh, yeah, thanks again for having me on. Yeah, I, I think... Um, the deal machine front, it's it's been it's been really really fun. I know I've uh, been there for a little over three years now, coming up on three and a half. Um, it's something that I had. The two guys who started it were two of my best friends. Grew up with the guys. We all grew up in South County, St. Louis together. Mm. All went to Melville together. So all, ah, all knew, okay. knew each other yeah. through high I was South County too. There you go. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. So uh, definitely, uh, you know, the, all of us have uh, been friends forever. Um, we'd all been, we, I guess we got lucky in the, in the standpoint of, you know, we all have different strengths, you know, different, uh, things we bring to the table, but all have been very interested in entrepreneurship and solving problems and trying to bring value to the world that way. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so, you know, David and Dave were the two guys who were starting deal machine back 2016, 17. And like you said, it was really David Leco him solving his own problem, you know, scratching his own itch where he was somebody who had you know he had read all the real estate books he'd read like you know rich dad poor dad and Mm -hmm. even like entrepreneurial style books of just being able to to understand like hey you know real estate's a uh, where you're going to build generational wealth that's where i he wants to be long term um you know he had a tech job that he was really burning out on and had been going through you know as his day job and said man i need to make a change and he was new to indianapolis so he was in st louis and then moved to indy and when he was new in indy he's like yeah this is a great opportunity to like you know, start kind of start fresh there, you know, start getting into real estate, start exploring that passion. And when he went through that, he just started uh, trying to figure out like, how do I do that for a steal? How do I buy right? How do I, how do I find a property that makes, makes the numbers work? And he, he tried going on market. He tried a ton of different things and just ha- was not having success. Um, but he was seeing other people have success in the same way. 
And when he would pick their brain, he kept hearing this term drive for dollars mm -hmm. over and over again, which just means driving around and looking for properties that need help, that need to be fixed up, that, that are in disrepair for whatever reason. And that's an indicator that that could be somebody who doesn't want to deal with the property anymore, somebody who um, needs to sell and can't fix it up and needs to get it on market, but, but has a problem that you could potentially solve. Um, so it's, it, you know, he, he started driving around looking for those properties. And as he went through that, he realized, man, I can make this process so much better with my technology background. Like he was in his tech job and realized I can help people build a great list of properties and reach out to them consistently and do all these things to, to just make this much more efficient and effective. And so he solved it for himself. He uh, recruited Dave, uh, again, one of our best friends, both guys in my wedding party. The Daves. Party. The Daves. There we go. <laughs> Dave and Daves. Uh, you know, recruited him to, to work together on that, solving that problem. And when he did that, he started using himself, started building his own portfolio and then started having other people ask him like, how are you doing that? How are you, you know, how, what are you using to do this? They turned it into an app that came, became a real business and, and Hey, that's where the, the idea started. So I, I, you know, have followed them along that journey and was excited to join them. And just, just to back up a little, Mac, if you'd break that down a little, what do you mean? What did they turn into an app? What do you mean by that? Yeah, so the idea of building that list of property, like I would say the two main problems they were solving was uh, identifying properties that people were either looking to sell or interested in, you know, interested in selling in some way, whether it be they're dealing with a problem that you can solve for them or they just don't want to deal with the property. It's a headache property for whatever reason. And so... Mm -hmm you know, the first problem they would solve is, okay, we want to identify those and build, help you build a list of those. And then uh, secondly, it was, okay, how do we actually get in front of them and have a conversation? Like, how do we actually mm -hmm. reach out to these people in an, in an efficient way that doesn't just take forever and take you being a full-time is all I do totally. type of thing? Yeah. Yeah, so we use technology to solve those two things, and that's what the mobile app uh, does to, to start with. Yeah, in the, in the past, it and, I, and I've run into peop people that were in this industry or – buying distressed properties to um, to sell them or rehab them or rent them. And they would, you know, drive around, the driving around for dollars. And then once they had these properties that they thought they liked, then they would take a picture of that property or whatever and have a list of all the properties they took a picture of that day. Then when they go back to their, their office, they would have maybe uh, eight computer screens up because you want to try and cross yep. reference all this information to figure out who owns the property and then uh, who owns the property. How can I get a hold of them? Should I send something to them? Can I call them? Are they on a do not call list? Can I not call them? Figuring out all these things. So that's like a massive part of your job. So if you can make that more efficient and spend time um, making the deals happen as opposed to researching who owns the property, which was, which was probably most of the job, at least 50% of it. So he basically took Deal Machine and tell us specifically what happens if I have the Deal Machine app and, I, mm -hmm. and we'll get into maybe a subscription or whatnot, but I have the Deal Machine app and maybe I have experience in flipping properties, maybe I do not. But either way, I want to, um, I have certain neighborhoods that I want to, that I want to focus on. And uh, what do I do once I have the app on my phone? Yeah. So uh, just like you, you guys described there, it's identifying those properties and then figuring out how to get in touch with them. So it'll it'll actually go through. And if you see a house in front of you, so you're, you know, you're, and this is something, again, the, the process you're describing, we did not invent that by any means. Like that's been around forever of like driving around and just, right. even just, you know, driving down the street, you probably know a property right now. It's like, oh man, there's this one down the street that I wish I knew who owned that. I, that's a, you know, what could be a potentially a, a good house to, to, to fix up. Right. Um, so going through that, you know, essentially the app, you open it up, you know, it locks onto your location. So it's, uh, you know, pulling up a map right there for you. Mm -hmm. As you drive around, you see all these dots popping up. Those are just all the properties around you in real time. And so you click on that property and it gives you that data on, you know, what's the situation with that property. And like you said, figuring out, okay, you know, what, everything from the mortgage and tax info to, you know, understanding the, the parameters of the property, you know, is it, you know, does it fit what you're looking for in terms of what you're looking to buy? Um, you know, really help you do your research on the spot, um, you know, on mobile. And then you can literally tap that button and say, hey, get me in contact with this owner if you decide that it's somebody you want to reach out to. And so it has contact information right there, whether it be a phone number, like you said, on the do not call list, it'll tell you, hey, is this on, do, you know, do not call or whatnot. Um, you could send an email. There's, you know, email addresses there. Uh, you can send direct mail. So you can send a postcard and say like, hey, I'm interested in your property. Are you looking to sell? And the app, uh, um, creates the postcard for you. Yep. 
Yep. So we work with a mail house where you you hit one button and it can send mail to that person. So and you can also put them on a weekly, every other week, once a month, mm -hmm. yeah. twice a year. You can automate that and, yes. and say, yeah, every couple months, send them a postcard or what have you. So you're talking name, tax information. If it has a mortgage, what the terms of the mortgage are or not mm -hmm. really? Yes. Yep. Terms of the mortgage, how much equity there is, mm -hmm. if it's behind on taxes, mm -hmm. if it's owned in a trust. Yep. All that information. So it's all that phase that you were saying people were doing already of, you know, pulling up eight computers. <laughs> it's it's taking that process of a couple hours and turning it into, you know, instant, like 10 seconds, right? <laughs> so um, you can just pull that up on the phone. We do have a desktop version too. And as we've evolved over time, we realized that, hey, we want to be the go-to place that if you say, I want to get into real estate, well, go try Deal Machine. Like we want to be the go-to place for finding off-market deals, period. So, you know, the mobile app is one piece of that. We have a desktop version where you can go in and, and use data to say like, hey, show me, you know, all the properties around me that are owned by, you know, tired landlords or owned by, you know, this free and clear properties that, you know, are uh, maybe they're senior owned, they're huge properties, they're people who are looking to potentially downsize. Okay, cool. And you can do things like that creatively using data to be able to <clears throat> pull a list of properties that way. Um, but that's come later as we've evolved is we want to be that go-to source no matter how you're, you're using data. So That's what I was going to say. I, I think there's so many people in the real estate industry in addition to um, individuals that are buying distressed or investment properties that could really find benefit and utilize this application. And then as you move forward, you're, you'll probably find a lot of people that uh, are outside of the real estate industry mm -hmm. because it's... It's, it's data. How, how accurate have you found this data to be as a company? Yeah, I mean, that's uh, probably the area we've invested most in the last two to three years, especially because we started, you know, the mobile app came out 20, 2017 was when it really was on the, in the app store, publicly available, all of that. Um, you know, 2018, 19 is when, you know, we started to really get out there on the mobile side. And then the last couple of years, it's been, okay, hey, let's, let's make our desktop version as well best in class like we're doing on, on mobile. And that means really, really investing in great data. So it's pulling in uh, data from counties like that. You know, there's a couple of major players, you know, three or four that are really the main people that, that have that type of data that you can go in and be able to, to really get access to that. And then, you know, our whole uh, value we bring to it is that, okay, we want to put that data and make it very actionable, you know, very useful of where you can just jump in and really easily understand what to do with that data, why it's valuable, how to build a list off of it. So, um, I mean, it's, it's, I would say, uh, it's top, top of the class in terms of us compared to any other, uh, tech out there because we're working with, you know, some of those top data sources. And then we've continued to layer on new data sources, like, um, the contact information. Uh, that's a big one that we recently released where usually you'd have to go and like pay separate for that. Right. Yeah. Um, now it's included in your deal machine subscription. So we're, we're always trying to do things like that where, we just want to bring more and more value to people where, you know, especially the newbies who it's like, oh, I want to get into real estate. Well, you know, either find the deal and fund the deal or kind of the two sides of the equation. Right. So we want to own that find the deal side of the equation. Again, we're here talking to Matt Camp uh, with Deal Machine. And Matt, could you just you you, you said it in a, a, um, a lot of detail, but can you just summarize um, who specifically is the target audience for the app like mm -hmm. for you guys? So it's interesting. You know, we talk about investors primarily, and that's been our number one. That and that's how it started. On. Yeah, that's how it started. That's and that's what David was coming from the perspective for him. Um, you know, so so I would say like that's been the number one target audience. But over time, we found other use cases for it, especially now where um, you know I would say on like the number two use case now is probably the agent, you know, realtor side, where people can come in and agents, you know, especially the ones who can be proactive and creative and really want to prove their worth to, to you know, both sides of the, the, you know, the buyer and seller getting out there and using this, this tool to identify people who are looking to sell or, or highly likely to sell, um, reaching out to them, you know, building their brand in that neighborhood, building their awareness in that neighborhood, um, and really generating their own listings because they're using the technology. Like that's been kind of this next evolution is we just naturally had a lot of agents approach us and say, man, you guys don't really talk about agents much, but you should, cause <laughs> I'm using this and doing oh, great the job. The first thing I thought of, but yeah. that's, well, that's, that's our world that we live in a lot. So yeah, right. what I was also, also I think Pete in this market, I mean, this market, which is primarily a seller's market for the past few years. And it looks like that's going to be the case as well going into the spring and summer of 24, but you know, when you have 10, 15, 20, 30 
offers on a house, this, um, you know, many agents had to come up with uh, just advanced methods to try and find purchases that were available for um, the people they were working with. So they would inventory so low. Yeah, yeah, they would they would write letters maybe to a neighborhood or or farm a neighborhood like that, not even trying to get a listing, but trying to find a place for their buyer mm -hmm. in the in the. At the same time, they get a listing. Maybe they get both sides of the deal. Mm -hmm. But um, but I think that would be just yeah, if they game changer. If they didn't uh, have success with their client on the on the 20 offer home, then they maybe use the deal machine app and find another home in that neighborhood. That, yep, there's exactly. an opportunity. Um, so t tell us about the, the geographic area you focus in. Um, is it limited to Missouri or what are we talking about? No. We, so we have data uh, as long as you're in the 50 states, mm -hmm. um, you know, so data nationwide. And then uh, we, we do have a lot of people in Missouri just because we're you know from St. Louis originally. We've got quite a few people in the Midwest in general. Uh, we've got, you know, people in for working at Deal Machine in St. Louis, Indianapolis, and then uh, pretty virtual outside of that. But yeah, we have people all over the U.S. I know Texas is a popular one for us, California, Florida. So, it, yeah, it, it uh, really is all over the place. And all residential properties? Um, we do. I mean, so other use cases, we do have other property types that you can come in there and you can do anything from single family to multifamily. To, I mean, there's a, we have a ton of data around commercial and self-storage and RV parks and all kinds of cool stuff. Like there's a lot of other use cases there. We, we've primarily... Um, you know, we focused on the single family home investor if we want to get really, really specific as, uh, you know, when it comes to our marketing, uh, mostly because I think like one, we wanted to just be extremely valuable to one group before we would branch out and really nail it, you know, nail that use case to begin with and really have a foc focused uh, target audience. Well, and for that group, that that's their, that's 75% yeah. of their it's job. That's their bread and butter, for sure. Yeah. 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 Um, and so we've done that. We, we've also been a, bo a bootstrapped company too. So we're very, uh, very conscious on like, hey, how we're uh, growing in a smart way and a profitable way, not just uh, you know raising a ton of money and and you know uh, spending it on marketing a lot of ways. So, um, you know, I would say like overall, uh, our approach has been really focused on that initial target audience, and then as we've upped our game on the the data side and really you know have been investing in the data that we have available for people we're finding all these individual niche use cases of of people doing some really really cool stuff with that data um how do you how do you and by you i mean the collective you with uh, <laughs> with deal machine how do you focus on um the you know, the single family, I'm sorry, the single family investors, like what, what are some of the secrets you use to, to identify who those people are, to identify your target, you know, without giving away all your trade secrets? Yeah. Um, tell us, tell us what are your successes in that re respect? Uh, do you mean like on the marketing side? Like, yeah. How do you, how does, how, other than, other than obviously coming on the, uh, the pinnacle podcast, yeah, what, are, what are, what are some <laughs> other strategies you employ to make sure that the right people are using your app. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, our marketing strategy overall, I mean, it's one, so we have two founders who are, are very product led. Like they're both guys that have been in tech, both guys that understand uh, how important it is to make a, a, a product that, you know, is uh, valuable both from, from, you know, what you get in terms of the, the functionality, but also the usability of it. Like how, you know, especially, you know, our target audience, it can skew, uh, we have some advanced investors as well, but I would say the bulk of them are probably closer to that newer investor or newbie or someone who's doing that first couple, you know, first 10 deals, I would say. Um, so especially with them, I mean, it's it's like, hey, they might even be new to the real estate space in general. We got to make this really, really easy and simplified to use. So they're very product focused on that and on nailing that. Um, over time, we've really invested on marketing and on finding these new individual strategies that are wor that are uh, working in terms of getting out there and again in a scalable way, but but in a profitable way. So you know, I, I would say some of our top on the marketing side, we really invest heavily in content. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're really really focused. We've got an awesome uh, earned media team, like team that produces. Uh, social media content, blog content, email. You know, we've got a whole content marketing strategy around this, and and you know, uh, really focus on on being found online using SEO and everything like that as well. So, or using you know, uh, really thinking through our SEO strategy. Um, we you know, so I, I would say like our internal content team, top notch. 
Um, they, you know, really the goal with that as well is like, in the end, we're just a, a tool to help you make, be more successful, but we're not doing it for you. Like it really takes you using the tool to, to really have success, right? Like it's, uh, it's picking up a shovel and digging with it. We can be the shovel. We can help you. It's better than digging with your hands, but you still have to actually go out there and dig with it. Right. So, um, putting great content out there to educate them and enable them to be successful is going to help our, you know, help our customers and then help us in, in the end as well. So I think the content piece has been really big. Um, You're yeah. talking about like capturing mm -hmm. a, a newer investor. I think you said somebody with one to 10 properties, perhaps. Um, you're making it available um, through social media, online, what have you. Mm -hmm. Your content's there. So if, if this single family newer investor is searching for how do I, how do I um, identify distressed properties, to get too specific, but that's yeah. a great one. Yeah. 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 So that that's exactly we want to be, you know, the answer of saying like, here's how you do that. Oh, by the way, Deal Machine can help you, but really give them as much value as possible in that content as well. So that piece has been really big for us. Um, even things like we've invested quite a bit in in, you know, podcast, you know, ads and things like that. We've invested quite a bit in, you know, I run our, our partner program. So the affiliate side, that's really big for us as well, is teaming up with these other educators that uh, you know, I mentioned Rich Dad, Poor Dad uh, earlier. Like that's one example. We we team up with their education company to go in and help their members learn about how Deal Machine can mm -hmm. help them find there's you know, networks. properties. There's networks that uh -huh. for this particular product. Yeah, I mean, like if if you started using it, there would be plenty of people that would be willing and able to help you. Yep. It seems like, and I can already Absolutely. tell that just by looking it online myself. Are you? Can you tell us like somebody? That, there's there's you know there's probably. A, a good amount of real estate agents that are listening to this podcast. And also um, everybody's always a potential uh, investor, I, I feel like. Mm -hmm. But what, can you give us a, let's pick somebody out. Give us a, um, a story about someone who started using the app and how it changed um, the way they did their real estate or the way they did their investment. And then also, what does the pricing start at? Because that's obviously somebody's like, oh, it all sounds great. What does this cost? Um, just in general. I mean, there's mm -hmm. probably all different types of levels that you can get to. And, and you may you may find um, whatever you want to invest. It depends on what your return is going to be. So what, what have you been finding people sometimes start at? Yeah. So I would say um, on that front, you know, we've got uh, three options for people. We want to just really make it extremely simple in terms of, of pricing and, you know, not you pay for this and then, oh, you got to pay for that and then that and then that. So we keep it very, very simple where you've got, uh, you know, three plans. It's anywhere from, I know our starters at $99 a month. If you want to go in and use that, um, that's, that's great. Especially if you're that's just excellent. Yeah. Just getting your feet wet, just getting out there. We really focus on keeping it as cost of cost efficient as possible, uh, for people there. The only thing you'll pay for in the app is if you're going to send mail, uh, direct mail, that'll be, you know, you're basically paying for, uh, the mail itself, but it's 59 cents for a postcard, uh, you know, depending upon the, the size and whatnot. So you, we're not really you know, making much there. It's pretty much at cost for you. Um, so you've got, you know, that's our kind of general, uh, you know, starter, starter approach. Uh, we have pro is 149 a month. And that would be if you're coming in and if you're, you know, a little bit more of a serious investor um, or agent or somebody who, you know, has a, you know, I would say starter a lot of times it's, it's part-time people. They're doing this as like a side hustle. They're doing this as a way to get into real estate. Pro is like, oh, I'm in real estate. Now I want to take this serious and use technology to help me help me get better at this and scale and, and do more deals. So um, that would be pro. And then Teams is $4.99 a month. And Teams is like, hey, I'm I'm you know doing volume. I want to take it to the next level. I'm, um, you know, a lot of people. The, the interesting use cases like the contact info that we offer in Deal Machine. You know, we see companies go in and and if you're on uh, the Teams plan, like that could be a great place to just get a lot of contact info with people. You know, for people to to reach out direct. So it it kind of depends on your use case. I would say it's like, you know, the the newbie side hustle starter. The I'm a serious professional uh, looking to take it to the next levels pro, and then I'm a, a, a larger business in the real estate space. Okay, you know that would be teams. So, um, you know we, we try to you know break it down that way. Uh, you know I, I would say like in terms of um, what, what was part one of your question as well. I know you're asking the well, just that that was and I was I was going to ask about somebody who you know who, oh, who did there. yeah and yeah. it started and also like for the ninety nine one for example do you get do you get um, do you get email address and phone number? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So that comes with all of them. Um, yeah, it, it, it's, it, you know, I, I'd say like 
it's pretty cool to see the different types of people using it as well. Like one example of a story, um, you know, because like you said, I mean, everybody can be can learn to be an investor or or is an investor in some way. Um, you know, agents for sure. Like I said, you know how we've upgraded everything. Uh, we're seeing a lot more traction there. But then even the the standard home buyer, like looking for their primary home, where it's hey, they're you know they're not able to <laughs> find much on market right now. Like they can leverage it that way. Where we've got one guy who uh, mm -hmm. Matt Porcaro's his name out in the New York area. Um, I can't remember the name of the specific suburb, but he had like a very specific neighborhood that he was super excited, like his dream home essentially. And he went, he went in, identified that area, you know, was able to use our data to really come in and identify, okay, here's the exact type of house, you know, bed, bath, you know, square footage. I want to have a garage. I want to have X, Y, Z. I, you know, he plugged all of that in and pulled out a list of properties that way. And then he delivered a direct mail campaign to those people where you can actually go in and get really custom with how you, how you use the mail. And one option in there is actually a handwritten letter. So we team up, there's a local company here called Ballpoint Marketing in St. Louis. I don't know if you've met those guys yet, but um, they would be a great one to have on this podcast as mm -hmm. well. Uh, but they help create these handwritten letters that you can send out through Deal Machine. So he identified, I can't remember, it was maybe it was 50 or 100 properties. I can't remember how many. And he was sending handwritten letters to them talking about, He's, you know, he's a, a family that this is his dream neighborhood. He's got, you know, a, a new baby, uh, a baby boy, I believe, um, that, you know, uh, was only a few months old. I'm um, really told just the, his personal story of why he wanted mm -hmm. to live here and said, hey, if you're ever looking to move, I would be extremely interested in, in your property and, and really taking care of it for generations to come. And he went through that process. And I believe it was about a six month uh, period from where he pulled the list and started mailing to him actually getting in contact, talking it through, and he he now has a dream home in that neighborhood through this process. So um, it was really, really cool to see him like go through that personally. He's also an investor himself, so he's used it as an investor, but he's like, man, I could just use this for my primary home too, and uh, went, went that route too. So um, yeah, I would say like, General wow. home buyers can use it that way too. Hundred percent. Great. Yeah. That's I, a great I recognize example. that right off the yeah, bat. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Great example. Um, you know, we and you you're very well spoken. I obviously, have um, a mastery of of the uh, deal machine product, and um, but t but we haven't really asked you too much about what you do for for the company, and 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 tell us a little bit about that and what you're most proud of in that regard. Yeah. And, and, you know, I know you asked about, uh, me joining it when not to like, I, I absolutely, I mean, I, we were talking about this beforehand, you know, we met when I was at, uh, influence and co, uh, mm -hmm. you know, a local agency that I absolutely loved working there was there, um, about almost seven, eight years, seven and a half years. Um, so I loved my time there was, you know, part of that core team, uh, when we were only a few people and got to grow it up to, you know, we had 80, 90, something like that at one, you know, at one point. Um, so it was really, really awesome to go through that process. And the team there was amazing um, and loved my time there. Uh, you know, I grew our partner program there, which was our referral program. And that was really the thing that Deal Machine was doubling down on and really investing in is that they were teaming up with these, you know, the rich dads out there or like uh, Bigger Pockets is another one or, um, you know, these other education companies that speak to a ton of investors. Um, you know, which a lot of them, it's that early stage to, you know, first 10 deals type of type of education companies. And I, I think probably 80% of our customer base has done 10 deals or less, I would say maybe zero to 10, you know? Um, so it just lines up really, really well. And they said, Hey, you know, I know you built this over, you know, this program over here would love if you came over to deal machine and did that. And, and they were again, two of my best friends. And that was, you know, the main reason was they were guys that I, grew up with, loved working with, knew that we, uh, you know, fit from that way. And it was really a once in a lifetime, like, Hey, I got yeah, a local you know. St. Louis company. Yeah, exactly. That too. And really, you know, I, I would say like, um, you know, those guys, like the, uh, even before influence and co, uh, when we were students at Mizzou, you know, two of uh, one, one of the Daves <laughs> out of the, the two Daves, uh, went to Mizzou as well. And we had a, a tech, uh, you know, a tech company dur at that time. Like we were all guys who, you know, did all these like student pitch competitions and did the entrepreneurship program there. And, you know, we're really involved with the journalism school and computer science school and all these different things that were, uh, you know, kind of us figuring out that we had this love for startups. And so, um, you know, I went through all that with them and Dave also worked at influence and go, he was also an early employee there. Gotcha. So he, he joined there and we knew that, 
you know, with this kind of core team, we always uh, love working together. So it was it was cool to kind of reunite with them, uh, you know, through the, the deal machine opportunity as well. So I came on and, uh, you know, they were they were doing I would say, look, again, partners were a, a, a great source of growth for them, but they weren't doing anything formally to really mm-hmm. build out more partnerships, nurture that and really own that. So that's my role at Deal Machine is. You know, I do a lot of things, uh, I would say, in terms of content around that and help our marketing team in that way. But in the end, it's like, how do we build our partner program and find people that we can really bring value to their networks by making them more successful as educators because they're using this technology or their students are using yeah. this technology to, to enable their Sounds very, very similar to what you did at Influence & Co. Mm-hmm. You talk to companies, you figure out what their needs, what their story is, how to get their message out and what they're trying to accomplish. And then you basically uh, come up with a solution to help help them achieve that. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. It seems like in this deal machine, I mean, it seems uh, revolutionary if you're not using it or um, I don't know. I don't know how much competition's out there or whatnot, but it certainly has um, revolutionized the way that you could look at properties. I mean, if you're going, if I was going to start, would I, would I need to drive around or can I just pinpoint on the app an area and then target a certain number of houses within that proximity that I specify. How mm-hmm. does that work? So I would say, and this is kind of like our main training. If it's, if it's, uh, you know, like what, what is that playbook to find your first deal? Uh, really there's kind of three steps. I would say it's it first is building a list of potentially motivated sellers. So people looking to sell, um, and then second would be, okay, reach out to those people. We actually have conversations, you know, we get in touch with them, have con- conversations with them. And then finally would be, hey, make an offer and, and close on that deal. And so with those three buckets, we've built out tools to help you be successful in all three phases where building the list would be driving around like we're talking about with the mobile app and just looking for those houses, pinning those. Um, we have a virtual option too. So if you're like in St. Louis, but you want to invest in Indianapolis, then you can virtually drive and it's using Google Street Image and helps you do that exact same process, but using Google Street Image to do that. So you can be clicking around instead of driving, which is pretty wild. And um, you're, you, but you're, you have, you're clicking on the houses that you want to see. You're not just getting the list. You have to either click on it or identify a sp- one specific house at a time. So that's, that's one option. The third option would be building a list that you're talking about. Gotcha. So you could say like, Hey, yeah, show me all the properties in 63109 that are free and clear, senior owned and this size and X, Y, Z. Like we've got, it's what, 150 plus uh, filters to use and you go in and can build a list of properties that way too. So that would be kind of the first bucket is building a list. Um, second bucket, and I'm, I'm taking a, you know, multi-hour training and putting it into two minutes. So (laughs) that will cover a lot here, but second bucket is reaching out to that list. So it would be, uh, using the contact info, whether it be, you know, uh, you could call or, or email or, um, even door knock if you want. We actually do have, um, an option to be able to route you to that list. Like for example, if you pull that list and you wanted to actually knock on doors, you could put it into the mobile app and it'll guide you and say, here's turn by turn navigation to drive your whole list. So you have that option, um, or direct mail. We talked about that. And that, so you're doing all that to get in touch with them. And then final thing would be closing the deal. So it's okay. Um, what tools do we have to analyze what I should offer? Like we have, um, a comps tool, like comping, like use MLS, uh, listed properties and, and gives you comps right there saying, Hey, here are properties that, that are comparable to the one that you're wanting to put an offer in on. Um, we have a, a CRM, so it's something to track those leads. We have, um, uh, actually, this is a newer one we did last year. Alma is the name, what we're calling it, but it's an AI assistant built in there. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if you've used like ChatGPT or any of those, those tools, but it's ChatGPT with all of our data. So it's putting those in, and it's very mm-hmm. specialized saying like, hey, what should I offer on this property? And it'll guide you. Read that. your mind. <laughs> Essentially. <Amazing. laughs> so, so I would say those three buckets, it's, find the deal, get in touch with people and, you know, do the deal. So that's great. Um, so what, what do you, well, first of all, for people who are listening and, and, and can't quite figure out why they can't locate you, it's cause your last name is spelled with a K and not a C, right? Matt Kemp. <laughs> I get a lot of Matt Kemp too. Cause okay. he was a I'm yeah. MVP. The, uh, Dodgers. That, yeah. He like dated Rihanna. It was yeah. like, man, that's a lot. It's tough. Like, well, you didn't date <laughs> her that long. So it's probably, <laughs> that's probably not yeah, on I, people's radar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. K A M P. Okay. Yeah, thank yeah, you. So. so, so Matt, um, you know, having been involved in this and, and as Chris identified, you know, we're, we're in the midst of some strange times in real estate over the last four or five years. Mm -hmm. Um, what, what, what do you recognize in terms of, uh, trends 
now in term, in the investment sphere with respect to real estate? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, on the investment side and, and for agents too, like we're all dealing with low on market inventory. You know, it's, it's uh, like you said, tough to find a deal or... You're you know, trying to create some inventory. Exactly. So regardless of what, what the, uh, the conditions are, you know, helping you take that in your own hands and be proactive about it and go direct to seller like that has been, uh, you know, super, super helpful for both in the, the investor side, but then the agent side of like, how do we generate listings? You know, how do we, again, like prove as much value as possible to our client, um, especially in, in today's atmosphere with everything going on? Like this is a great way for agents to take their game to the next level and really stand out in their market. Um, so I, I think, and then even home buyers too, like it's, it's tough to find, you know, especially with like, you know, uh, high interest rates and things like finding a property that, that you can come in and, and, you know, buy right and go off market. Like that's, uh, you know, value there too. So I would say from a, a trend perspective, you know, I don't, um, I wouldn't, you know, I don't have like a crystal ball to look and say, oh, there's a coming recession or there's going to be a huge crash or anything. I, and all indicators indicate maybe the opposite of that or any, really not, not, not that at all. So it's like, hey, how do you adapt to that? How do you come out and, and really be proactive yourself? Um, this, is, this is a way to use technology to help you do that. Yeah. And, and you sh if there's a tool out there um, and, and it's easy to use and it, it um, creates opportunities in, in, in this industry, in this market, we should be using it for sure. Um, and I don't think you need a crystal ball from what I can tell uh, by watching um, news, listening to reports. I think you can just say whatever you think is going to be the trend and whether you have any support for it or not, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> the people have a lot of opinions for sure. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah. Um, so I just had one question that's a little bit, maybe, maybe you get, you maybe you can shut this down quickly, but you've talked a lot about distressed properties and I think this, we're not only talking about distressed properties. Obviously you gave the story about the, the individual who just had um, a desire to live in a particular neighborhood and, and certainly with 150 filters, there's probably a lot of, uh, categories you can look at, um, or explore as a potential buyer or investor, um, but does the does the deal machine app ha have any way to identify properties that are distressed economically? In other words, maybe uh, subject to foreclosure or um, short sale or mm -hmm. anything like that. Yeah. So tax unpaid taxes. Maybe. Yeah. They're, they're kind of the two main buckets that I would say the data filters fall into. One of them is is property information, so things about the property itself and you know the sizing and and you know anything around your buy box on the actual property. Uh, you know, we've got you know, pretty much anything you want to filter for. You've got that there. Um, the other side of it would be uh, seller information. So seller motivations, like you said, you know, pre pre foreclosure, foreclosure statuses that's on there. Probate, you know, pre probates on there. Um, tax delinquencies, uh, liens against a property. Um, you know, even things like uh, going in and, and again, like equity percentage, you know, understanding that. Um, it does have on market data too. Like we've got MLS data in there as well. So you could go in and say like, Oh, show me expired listings. You know, things, you know, that's an example. Um, show me properties that have, you know, even, it could even be for agents. Like it, you could even look and say like, show me renters that, you know, have a, you know, higher net net value mm -hmm. that are looking to buy. You does, know? does the, does the $99 a month, does that limit the number of properties that you can get information on? Yeah, the main thing that limits would be the total size of how many leads you got you have in there. So it'd be ten thousand properties you could do on starter. So that, that's still you know, plenty for people. It's enough to get started. Very exactly. affordable, very mm -hmm. you know achievable for people to yep. to take it, on right away. If you're if you are considering a uh, real estate purchase within the next year, and um, and you don't find one for one year using the ninety nine dollar. Uh, program, then that's a that's a reasonable investment. Is it a subscription? Like, are you uh, committed to a year? You can do month to month. Okay. And, and we have we have just seven day free trials to to try it out and like actually look at this data and figure out like oh this works for me or not. Awesome. Um, but yeah, it's a month to month plan or annual. If you go annual, you'll get a discount um, for buying for the year. But uh, otherwise, yeah, it's uh, try to keep it as low risk for you guys as possible. And that's that's uh, just. The app is just Deal Machine. Is that yeah? If you just do DealMachine.com, uh, and and I mean, feel free if you uh, you know really have specific questions. I'm just Matt at DealMachine.com is my email. Always happy to to answer there and be a resource for people that way too. But um, yeah, again, we we try to put out a ton of content to be 
both about the app itself, like using it, but then also in real estate in general and really helping you guys be more successful, whether you're an investor, an agent, you know, just looking to buy a home, what have you. So Excellent. Well, it's been, it's been, um, uh a great, uh, a great episode. It's, it's been amazing having you here. Thank you so much for sharing that information. I mean, deal machine, Matt camp, it, easy to find online. If you want information, Matt, we got to do this again sometime. Uh, obviously we have a lot more we could talk about, but, um, we'll cut it off here. And, um, thanks again for listening. Please like share, uh, check out Matt at the deal machine.com. Yeah. Dealmachine.com. Uh, yes. Dealmachine.com. Deal deal uh, thank, again, thank you so much for having me on. I mean, again, we've been friends for, for quite a while, and like I love what you guys do. You guys are phenomenal in, in, in what you do. So Yeah, and, and ha- also thank you. On. Yeah, appreciate yeah. it. And thanks for uh, trusting us with your home loan as well. I mean, yeah. you've worked with us just several times, and we, yeah. we appreciate it big time. Absolutely. Yeah, anybody based in St. Louis looking to connect with people. So thanks. Excellent. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks.